Okay, here we are. Frankie, it is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Yeah, or whenever you're watching this, uh -huh. you know, it's probably... Happy Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday. <laughs> Hump day? I hate that, honestly. Oh, I hate it so much, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, whenever you're watching this, this is mid-year 2016. We thought we'd take a look at the Zero Tolerance website. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 4th of July, so it's uh, this is an American yes, manufacturer. Yes, we have to stick with the American stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, well, this is one of our favorite manufacturers. Right, it's really my favorite right now. Yeah, we kind of got into them not so long ago, and it's it's spiraling downhill. I mean, <laughs> in a good way. Yes, yes. In, in an expensive way, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We have a lot of these knives. We have yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and we're going to talk about that in this uh, little video here, and we'll talk about some of the one. knives that we don't have that we want. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. So, um... I'm getting that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, don't give it all away yet. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm just going to go over to the knives tab. And it's going to bring up, okay, do All we want to search it this way or hold on, don't look at the screen yet, guys. Don't look. <laughs> uh, we're going to go price low to high and just start off here. Okay. I go. need a new t-shirt. I need a water bottle too. Some t-shirts. Yeah. You know, I hate paying money for t-shirts. I like them when they're free. True. I know. <laughs> That's the best kind of t-shirt. <laughs> I could, I could use one of these. I want a water I, bottle too. I love wearing hats, but I'm very picky with hats, aren't I? Yeah. Well, Water bottles. Yeah. We have this case. Yes, we do. You know what's funny is it's full of Benchmades. <laughs> it just seems wrong. <laughs> it's full of Benchmades right now. We have the ZTs yeah. and a Spider Pack. I like Spider that Co. sweatshirt too. Sixty one dollars though. Well, okay. Well, that's the MSRP though. Still. It's probably going to be forty five fifty. Still Somewhere really expensive. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Yeah. Oh look, they got pens. Mm hmm. One hundred and twenty five for a pen. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was used to a dollar twenty-five until I got into knives, and then yeah. it's like, oh yeah, okay, pens are expensive. Well, they're tactical. Tactical. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're getting to the knives here. Yes. The three fifty, Frankie. Some of these. Right. We need to get a three fifty. And why do we need to get a three fifty? Well, which one are you looking at? I'm looking at the tiger stripe one. The tiger stripe. We'll skip the serrations, although the serrations do look cool. Mm -hmm. He looks um, mean, like teeth. This guy here, okay. It's, well, okay, aside from the fact it's a, it's a great looking knife, mm -hmm. we're going to call this one the Felix. It is the Felix. He's our little puppy, okay? Mm -hmm. His name is Felix, and he's he's Brendel. He's got these same stripes. Yeah, it looks <laughs> just like him. So yeah, we, we need to get this knife. Um, aside from that, it's a really cool looking knife. It's It looks pretty aggressive as far as a tactical type of knife. It's not super large. No, it's kind of a smaller, smaller size knife. Well, maybe for a ZT. Where's the specs there? Uh, weight 6.2, S30V, mm -hmm. blade length, see 3.25, it's not the longest of blades, yeah. No, it seems uh, like it's kind of, it's kind of a stubbier A knife. bit, and it is a recurve, and I know guys are going to say, but you don't like recurves. But it's Felix, it's fine. Yeah, and this knife, it just, it works, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I can sharpen the recurves, but just not to the level of, on, on the KME, um, I have less options well, and, and a lot of sharpeners, you have less options when it comes to recurves. So, yeah, um, it's just a little tougher that way. But this is a knife that we want. Yeah, we need to get this one. For us, that's going to be the Felix. 195. I've seen this one go for... Like 160? 145? Uh, maybe even 150. 145, 160. Uh -huh. Somewhere in there. Yeah. The 350. You guys have any of those? Okay, here's one. The 566. I think this is a hinderer design. Let's take a look at this one. This is the black wash. I believe it's a hinderer. I don't know. Yep, oh yeah, right. yeah, it's a hinder. Okay, um, let's take a look at the specs on this guy real quick. It is 5.4 L Max, great steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always good. That's a frame lock. Yeah, it's oh okay. Yeah, so this is the one that is assisted. It's an assisted flipper, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But everybody um, de-assists it. Oh, okay. Have you seen that? Yeah, I think you've shown it to me. Are Apparently, you... they, they turn out very nicely when you just remove the, the spring assist. Spring, uh-huh. Yeah. This was the very first ZT that we thought we were going to get, and right. we never did. We never yes. did. Yes. $200 MSRP. Um, I think they street for around $160. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Um, almost got that one as the first ZT. It didn't happen. Okay, here we go. The 450. Yes, my baby. This is the the baby Sinkovich <laughs> of the yes. ZT models. This is um, loosely based off of one of his customs, which we handled at Blade Show. Yes, I oh forget my gosh, the model it was name. Amazing. It was like sixteen hundred dollars, <gasps> and it's an extravagant version of, of this knife. They are way cool. Yeah, it's my favorite. This is uh, 
probably one of the smaller ZTs I've ever seen. Weight 2.9 ounces. It weighs nothing, you guys. Mm -hmm. S35 VN. That's a super steel if there ever was one. KBT ball bearings. They're just so smooth. Everything point, about them is awesome. 3.25 inch blade. This is uh, this is one of your favorite knives. It really is. And we have two of them. A little bit of color accent right there. And perhaps three soon? Yeah. Hopefully yeah. tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. These knives are absolutely worth it. Um, I think 160 is what we paid. That's generally what they right. go for. Yeah. And then I got that custom one. Which we paid 190 or 200 for. I forget. I, yeah, I think it was like 190. Just yeah, with the Thai Survival did a uh, uh, an anodized, anodization. anodization job on it on the yeah. on the scales. Yep, made it stripy. One of our favorites, one of the favorite uh, ZT knives for sure. Highly recommend this one, the zero yeah. four five zero. Let's see what we got here. There's another five six six. Ooh, there's another one of my favorites. Carbon fiber. Uh, here we go, the seven seventy. Mm -hmm. This one, this one might be your favorite knife. It could actually be my favorite knife. The 770 the carbon moment. fiber. Yeah. Take a look at this, you guys. Carbon fiber. It is spring assisted and it works very well. It it's is. a liner lock, LMAX steel. It's so nice. Very so nice smooth. Blade. Yes. Look at it. He kind of has like a little like whale look to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little personality to him. He does. He? he really does. These knives are excellent. They're thin, they're lightweight. What's the, yeah, three ounces, but you still get a 3.25 inch blade. Um, yeah. Highly recommend this knife for anybody. Anybody would love it. I, I want to say they go for around 180. Yeah. Somewhere in there um, is what you might find uh, retail-wise. Yeah, the carbon fiber. We also have the aluminum scale version. Yeah. Which uh, I think those go for as low as 120. Yeah, it's all. It's not. It's not bad at all. No, another pen. Carbon fiber one's awesome though. Okay, here's one that we got rid of. The 909. Yeah, we I kinda, did. I kind of regret getting rid of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really like it. We call it the manliest EDC folder for a reason. I mean, this... Uh, okay, I don't think you'll have a picture. Okay, yeah. You won't have a picture of the liner lock itself. It is the sturdiest liner lock <laughs> in a production knife I've ever seen. Uh, we call this the wheel bearing nut. Yeah. <laughs> that has probably a torque spec to it. <laughs> <laughs> so less George design. Less so. George design. Yeah, yeah, he's got some cool stuff. He's a former... I want, not special forces, but I think he assisted in like, uh, yeah, like bomb squads. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Very cool background for the designer here. Tech specs. I mean, I remember it's heavy. Seven point five ounces. Mm -hmm. Three point eight inch blade. I mean, it's a good size blade. Big old chunk of S thirty five VN. Yeah, extra thick liners. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. <laughs> I would say bomb proof liners. <laughs> <laughs> KBT ball bearings. This knife is fantastic. We traded it to spec operator for. For a couple other ZTs, so I mean, true. Yeah, mm -hmm. we didn't. Uh, we kind of came out even that way. But I miss this knife. I like it. Yeah. Well, we can always get it again. Might might actually do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It's this, on its way. The four five zero carbon fiber. This is the knife that you really want. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the White Castle. Yes. <laughs> That's one, one of our subscribers. He, he should almost start his own channel. He's got so many knives. He's got mid techs, customs and high-end production knives, but uh, yeah, he's sending us this one. We'll tell you more details about that in the future <laughs> when we get it, but uh, 225 retail, I've seen him for, I don't know, 200? Right, yeah, it seems yeah. like about that. We almost bought 190 one from, uh, to 200 or yeah, so. Yeah, we almost bought one from GP Knives at Blade Show. I just love the green backspacer. The oh, accent, yep, and on the, other one it's, on the other one it's red. Everyone but that, yeah, there we go. Love <laughs> that, love that. Yeah, black just, and green looks so good together. Yep. Okay. So we're at two point seven, even lighter. Same blade. Same everything else, really. Uh, two point seven. That's so too. light. Yes. Yes. These things flip wonderfully, and they carry so nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Highly recommend. Just absolutely one of the best uh, in the line right now is it the really four five zero. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Now there's the three fifty. Is that? Is that the big one? The really big. Yeah, big one? I think it is. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Here's the nine hundred. That's the, the, the Les George. Yeah, the it's a new one. one. Uh -huh. We handled this one also at Blade Show. I liked it. I actually do like it. It's a big little knife. He's he's, he's chunky. He's chunky, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the tech specs He's short, here. chunky. Okay, we don't have a, a handle width on this one, but it's it's somewhat wide if I remember. Yeah. It's still 4.3 ounces, and the blade length is only 2.7, but it's a nice knife. It, I liked how it felt. In my hand. Yes, I like this one. It's a sturdy liner lock. 
Uh, like I say, it's a it's a big little knife. <laughs> <laughs> he is a big little. Yeah. KBT S thirty five VN. Yeah, this is a this is a good one. I I could see owning this one. Yeah, I bet we will down the Flipper road. Flipper tab on this one is huge. Is. Uh, you know what? I remember that. It's a small knife, of course, but it flips like a big knife. Yeah, it was very powerful. Yeah. The nine hundred by Les George. Yeah, very cool. Okay, here's one. The 801, the Todd Rexford. Right. Um, and then there's another one down here. We'll skip ahead. Um, you know, I thought I'd really like these, and they street for around 160 I want to say. I actually handled one at Blade Show, and I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Right. I mean, they're cool I'm looking. I'm glad, because I almost got you one of those for your birthday. Oh, ah, well, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to my birthday. Mm -hmm. My birthday was two months ago, you guys. And she did give me a knife. Um, I just didn't care for it as much. It's super high quality. I just didn't like it as, and I can't pinpoint why. It's I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't like these uh, these ridges on the handle or something about it. I forget what it was. It's yeah. it's nice though. I tend to like Todd Rexford design knives. Yeah, I like the all. I like the actually satin finish of that one. Mm -hmm. I like the all one color too. Six two. I forget. It's a Rick Hinder design. What's this one? Some of these get confusing for us. Uh, 3.5 inch blade. I'm not sure. I think there's a bigger one than this even. It's just right. kind of, it looks like a basic. Well, it looks like a Rick, Hen <coughs> Rick Hender knife. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Here's some of the em Emerson designs. I mean, if you're talking uh, tactical, as far as a tactical folding knife, it really doesn't get much better than this. Right. And Emerson, they wave out of your pocket, of course. I like how it's silver on one side and then black on the other. That makes like it kind of cool. Yeah. These knives deploy quickly. They are about as tactical as you can get in Looks a... Looks very grippy, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a high texture. Absolutely. Um, it's about as tactical as you can get in a folding knife because of how fast they deploy. Blade length 3.7. LMAX 6.4. Yeah, they're a little hefty. Nice knives, though. All right, 808. This one I thought was going to be a bit more of a tweener knife, but... Yeah, you love this knife. I carry this one probably more than any other ZT right now. The 808, we actually got this from a fellow YouTuber, uh, Kevin Cleary. He was selling his. And the, I love this knife. I put yeah, my edge on it. it. I put it down to I don't know, 20 degrees or so per side. Um, S35VN blade. It's amazing. This knife flips just absolutely it is. beautifully. It's so smooth. It's got a unique sound to it when it flips. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, it's it's beautiful. I love this knife. I carry it more than any other ZT right now. It's very stylish, too. Just it, like it is. the it's a profile subtle, of it. It's a subtle styling. Yeah. This is a Rexford design, of course. Um, when we talked about, you know, the Kershaw Entropy, which is the $25. Um, True, yeah. Based uh -huh. off of his customs. And we said, you know, we wish they would do a little bit higher quality version. Okay, well, this is a big step up because you're talking a $200 knife. Um, it, but it's kind of the same as the Entropy as far as handle design and somewhat like the blade. Yeah, it kind of has the same similar shape yeah, to it too. Love that knife. Carry it all the time. Where are we at here? Another Emerson. Those are cool. There's the other 801 by Todd Rexford. There's a fixed blade. Hmm. I'm not into those as much not right too now. Much. Okay, here's a Sinkovich design. This is the 452. This was the very first ZT that I bought. Yeah, you love this knife. I flipped this knife one time <laughs> at a gun show. We, we had access to it brand new at a gun show, right? Yeah. I flipped this knife one time, and what did I say, Frankie? I have to get it. Yep. Pretty much sold. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This this knife's amazing. 4.6 ounces, relatively light for the size that it, it is. It is a big knife. Well, it's a 4.1 inch blade. Mm -hmm. 4.1 inches of S35 VN. 9.3 inches overall, too. So it's, it's just kind of long in general. It is. It is. Um, it's on the KBT ball bearings. It's the smoothest flipper. It's got this perfect detent to it. It's just, it's It's thin. It's it carries well. It carries well. Big old knife. And... You know, dare I say it's it's elegant, almost like a a gentleman's folder. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, this is one of my favorites, though. Notice, guys, that we really like the Sinkovich knives. Also. Yes, yeah. we're kind of partial to his. All right, here we go. Here we go, Frankie. <laughs> yes. What about this knife? I got you this for your birthday. The ninety-five black wash. The uh -huh. ninety-five black wash. It was not even on my radar. No, I got it <laughs> because we don't have a harpoon blade. And it was brand new. It was brand new. Yeah. Um, it was lightweight for its size. I was expecting, um, a different knife and I, I knew <laughs> she was going to get me a zero tolerance or a Kaiser. Right. And which was fine. And she got me the zero tolerance, but I hadn't even looked at this one. 
I just got it because it was something different. It was bad because I opened it up and it was it was just sort of almost like one of those, oh, thank you, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, geez, I felt no, anybody I, else would be happy for it. I was, but here's the <sighs> thing, though. The reality is I have grown to really love this knife. I really have, and mm -hmm. you've seen me carry it multiple times. I know, times. I have. Yeah. This uh, this five spoke around the uh, around the pivot. I really love that detail. It, it, this this handle like uh, scales, where it's almost like uh, what's coming to mind, almost like a pistol grip. Mm -hmm. Not quite. I mean, of course, but <laughs> um, it really allows for a good grip on the knife. The knife itself is smooth, but you can really lock into this sucker. It's just something different. Like I just got it because we don't have anything like it really. Yeah. No, I've I've really come to love it a lot more. Yeah. Bonded with him finally. I have. Yep. S thirty five BN. Oh yeah. Three point six inch blade. Five point three. Not ultra heavy for the size of knife that you're getting. Right. That's what I I, I looked into every spec possible. And now I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the two twenty. Uh, what about this one, Frankie? Um, we just got rid of it. <laughs> we did. This is a knife we couldn't bond with. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got this one in on trade, and I really like this. I, you yeah. know. Wait. I don't know. It's another one of these knives I got rid of, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe I should have kept it. But we're getting my carbon fiber for it. <laughs> yeah, we'll update with that. Okay, a little bit of a recurve. I'm not crazy about those. The clean blade on this side, it's almost lacking to me. I don't know. I don't know. It, and a lot of people say that this is what they like about it the most. Yeah. I just couldn't bond with it. it it's a beautiful knife. It, it clips is. amazingly. Uh -huh. The materials, all the quality is there. It's just I couldn't bond with it. Yeah. Sometimes you bond with them, sometimes you don't. Yep. But a uh, great knife just wasn't for us. Okay, is this the one? Yes, okay. Check this out. This is the 560. This is a huge knife, okay? <laughs> um, this is, where are we at here? 6.4 ounces, 3.75 inch. 8.8 inch. Yeah, okay. And look at, look at you can just tell how textured this is, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you know the channel? Okay, you guys out there, have you heard of the channel um, Nick Shabazz on YouTube? Nick, I have. <laughs> Nick Shabazz, okay. He is a YouTube knife reviewer. Um, he's got, I mean, he's not huge. He's probably, well, he's a little bit bigger than us in, in subscribers, but, uh, he's one of our go-to, <laughs> um, when we want to look at an honest knife review, we, we check mm -hmm. Nick Shabazz. He's, he's, he's always doing ZTs. He's got a funny one. I think it's on this knife, Frankie, where, yeah. um, he talks about how it's just overly textured. It's just got so much texture. It's such a big knife. There's just, there's grip and it's texture like a fish everywhere. fish on the side, yeah. too. Let me see if I can do my, uh, Nick Shabazz impression. You guys that have, uh, checked out his channel, you'll know, uh, Hey everybody, Nick here. Uh, today I got a ZT for you. It's the 560. It's the Hindro design. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say though? He said, um, well, he would, you know, he always says it's a gem of a knife, and it's, <laughs> uh, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I hope I'm doing that right. I, I love the guy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but what did he say that was really funny about this knife? Oh, he, yeah. said, um, he said, he uh, said, it's perfect. If uh, you were yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you. If you work in a Vaseline factory, boy, have I got the knife for you. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love that. Yeah, he's got some great reviews. Yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, says Nick Shabazz. But yeah, little shout out to that channel. Check mm -hmm. it out if you guys haven't seen it. Another um, Emerson. These are cool knives. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not into them as much, but I totally appreciate them. Totally appreciate them. All right, here we go. 0456. I... Love it. Got it, it is on one trade. of your favorites. Yes. This is probably one of my top three knives that I own right now. Um, well, and you know what? The computer doesn't really justify the blue on it. It's actually a brighter blue. Well, than and it's it. got some multiple tones to it, too, yeah, actually, it's depending not on the like light. the turquoise that it kind of appears on the yep. screen as. It's more you, blue, blue. It's a, it's a knife that you have to see in person to, to fully appreciate. The you have beauty. to handle this knife. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is, again, another Sinkovich. Yep. KVT, uh, CTS 204P, which I am new with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, 3.25 inch blade, 6.6 .6 ounces. It's a little chunky. Um, doesn't matter. No, <laughs> this knife's you love amazing. it. Mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is a piece of work right here. Yeah. Absolutely love it. The styling it. is so neat on it, too. It's, uh, it's yeah. kind of futuristic looking. It, it's a it's, very unique style. It's beautiful. Yep. 560 again. Oh, the more Felix knives. Well, there's Felix knives, but these ones are really big. Yeah. Let's just take a look at them real quick. Check out the price on these. Oh, discontinued too. Yeah, I actually looked into that one because I like the color combo, but they're like not available anywhere. It's got the wheel bearing nut mm -hmm. with the torque spec. Yeah, this one is big. Eight ounces. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's almost as much as Felix weighs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 804. 
Yeah, this one is cool. I like makes this, this one. Todd Rexford. Yep, another Todd Rexford design, which is awesome. Love that pocket clip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that it's matte finish, too. Oh, nice. It's got, uh, it's kind of got, like, chamfered Rolled. edges on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it's uh, reversible. This is this this knife speaks to me. Look at that. It's just like a straight line on the top. I know. I really like that too. The, the handles on his knives are, are um, they they work for either one of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very simple. Check out the specs on this one. Five point one. CTS two hundred four P. Interesting. This was one I actually looked into getting for you too, but it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend on your birthday. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all right. Three point nine inch blade on that one. It's actually got more blade than. Uh, then I realized this is uh -huh. a nice knife. This it is, is a nice. nice. Knife. Yeah, still want it. Yep. Okay. All right. Now we're getting to the most expensive here. <sighs> Limited editions. Now here's what they're doing, guys. They is in uh, zero tolerance. Let's check this one out. For example. So what they're doing, I think, yeah, factory custom series. Another another term for mid tech. I yeah. Think is what they're doing. Uh -huh. It looks like zero tolerance is kind of getting into the mid tech. Now limited edition ZT is sold out. I don't know if you can find these right now or not. I don't know. Yeah. If you can find them, they're going to cost at least four hundred dollars. I'm not sure if I like the looks of that one. So it's, it's got a lot of green. It's like yeah, it's kind of playing on the whole zombie apocalypse uh, yeah. thing. Okay. I would say okay. a little bit. I don't Otherwise, know. Otherwise, maybe different colors. I might like it more. Um, maybe in person it would look better too that's what i'm saying without handling a knife like this i bet you this thing because just kind of looking at it and let's see 204p 5.8 it's, it's a rick not, Hinder. it's not too heavy no I, i'm guessing this is uh this is high quality though like yeah, as far I, bet as it, I bet it looks cooler to in handle person. Uh, yeah uh, in function now let's take a look at this one here i like that one i like this one quite a bit mm -hmm. 450 it's another one of these uh we'll call them mid techs mm-hmm Love it. Love this blade shape. I like it's the little knife. copper ZT logo, too. Oh, it's yeah. kind of neat looking. I like that, too. Let's see. Is this one out yet? I've, I've looked at this one earlier. Um, I think you can find these, but you're not going to pay, again, you're not going to pay less than $450 right. mm -hmm. if you can find one. Um, yeah, Rick Hinder, another Rick Hinder design. One of these mid-techs, okay? Kind of a custom, uh, custom and production. production. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the big boy. All right, speaking of Dmitry Sinkovich, here we go. Yes. We, now, you saw the video too, I think, earlier. Um, right. Well, uh -huh. Okay, we, we handled this knife in person. Yeah, we did. At Blade Show, okay? This is the 0427. It actually is better looking in person, I have to say. It's. These pictures it's are a work the of best art. of I, it. I'm going to go on the record saying I love this knife. Mm -hmm. $600, I would probably pay for it. It's not coming out until 2017. Yeah, okay. 2017 sometime in 2017 yeah but so the video of zero tolerance at blade show on youtube i went and looked at it after the fact you saw mm -hmm. it too yeah it got a lot of negative comments it has gotten really night, bad reviews which is terrible i mm -hmm. we saw it in person and it's it's a work of art you may think it's ugly i understand that yeah. I, I don't know in person it's a lot better looking than these the computer shows for it's it. a sight to behold blade link 4.2 CTS XHP combined with CPM 154 spine, so it's a two tone or it's a two mm -hmm. piece material blade. I don't even know how they how they do that really. Um, obviously bearings. It's a carbon fiber inlay. Yeah, the inlay was really cool. Look at the on intricate it. cuts in here. This it really was beautiful. This is an impressive knife. Mm -hmm. um, I. It's one they're going to make, I'm sure, no doubt, in, in limited production, and it's probably going to sell out quick. Yep. If I can get one, I'm, I'm going to go on the record as saying I, I want it. Mm -hmm. I want it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yep. Got to handle it at Blade Show. Well, and it looks kind of robotic, too, and I guess that's Very some futuristic. Of, yeah, it's very futuristic. I don't know. I'm going to go on the record saying I love it. Yep. Having handled it, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it right now. You know what I'm missing is the uh, the aluminum handled uh, 770. Oh, your 770. Uh -huh. I didn't see it in there. No, I don't uh -uh. think it was there. Yeah, um, that's it for zero tolerance for mid year 2016. One of our favorite manufacturers. Oh out, yeah. Out of Oregon, <laughs> you guys, American, made in USA. These are fantastic knives. Wow. You uh, can't go wrong for the quality. Well, some of you have commented that you're still waiting to get your first ZT or you're on the fence or, you know, you would like to get one one day. Um, this is a goal knife for a lot of you, and it was for us at one time as well. They're worth it. Get a 450. <laughs> get a 450 <laughs> if that fits your hands. Get the 909. Oh, I, the 770 is great too. 
There's so many good knives. <laughs> you really can't go wrong with any of these, you guys. Yeah, you really can't. Yeah, I bet tolerance. their mugs are really good, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I would take one. Yeah, I would, sure. too. And a free shirt, if it was free. Mm -hmm. I hate paying money for shirts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's long enough for this video, you guys. Zero tolerance. If you're on the fence, we're pushing you Jump over. off that fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys.